sad fact of life, this often comes with disasters like this. Price gouging. We're talking about everything from gas to hotels. Today, national investigative correspondent Jeff Rawson has found a number of troubling cases down in Florida. Jeff, good morning to you. Hey, Matt and Savannah, good morning to you. We're here in Orlando this morning. There's been some heavy rain and some wind. You can see the palm trees blowing right now, but it's certainly not awful here, and that's part of the point. We are west uh, inland here in Florida, and people are fleeing to places like Orlando, places like Tampa, evacuating from the East Coast to get away from the worst of the storm. And we have uncovered this morning stores, gas stations, even hotels taking advantage of those storm victims by jacking up their prices. Shot A Nanton and her young children scared for their lives, forced out of their Tampa hotel room Thursday. Last night I paid fifty-one dollars and thirty-seven cents. Fifty-one dollars for the room last night. What do they want you to pay tonight? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Yes. And now you have to leave. Yeah. Can you afford that? No, I cannot. That's right. As Matthew barreled in, she says this days in suddenly raised the rates by more than triple. They're just taking advantage of us. They're taking advantage of making money extra money because there's a hurricane coming in a state of emergency yeah when people like you are as desperate as you've probably ever been yeah mommy. and it's sad mommy. to say that i have to mommy. say that but yes i am desperate mommy. right now and mommy. right now i just have to do the best i can to take care of these little ones mommy. yes sir where are you going to stay tonight i have no clue and she's not alone this woman says the hotel did it to her too now she's in her car, stuffed with all her belongings. What do you make of this? I think it's heinous and insane and just dreadful. We wanted to see it for ourselves. Watch what happens when I send my producer Annika inside as a customer. $199. $199. $199. Aren't they normally like 50? Okay. 62 by now. I don't know the rate. Right State investigators received a complaint and showed up, now considering legal action. Sir, Jeff Rawson from NBC News. I know you're the manager here. We're looking for answers, too. I don't know about the prices. I just run the hotel. I don't set the price. The corporate sets the prices. Do you think it's wrong? Well, what's wrong? Raising the price by three times the night of a hurricane? I have no idea, sir. I have no idea about the price. Days in corporate telling NBC News, we are deeply troubled by these allegations as they in no way reflect our brand values. This hotel is franchised, so we don't manage inventory and rates and we'll investigate. But it's not just hotels. That's where yeah. we're seeing a lot of okay. our, our price issues. The Florida Attorney General's office setting up a special price gouging hotline, getting thousands of tips, and people are taking to social media to out gas stations like this one, charging $8.88 per gallon. Another charging $9.99 a gallon. And this store selling bottled water for a whopping $30. Is this illegal? Absolutely. During a state of emergency, you cannot substantially raise prices, whether it's a hotel room, fuel, commodities such as water, generators. You cannot raise prices substantially. And that's what these bad people are doing. And it's hurting our good citizens in a time of need when they are the most vulnerable. And by the way, no matter where you live in the country, we can all learn something from this. Price gouging does happen whenever there's a storm. What you want to do if you notice it happening during this storm or any other near where you live, you want to call your state's attorney general's office here in Florida, Matt and Savannah. They actually have investigators out today responding to these complaints in real time, so you may actually get some resolution. By the way, we are happy to report we were able to get Sade and her family as the wind picks up here in Orlando. We were able to get them a nice hotel room for last night. And again tonight, they've been able to ride this storm out safely uh, with their young kids. And we're happy to report that. And we checked in with them. All is good. Uh, Jeff, thanks. Yeah, these, these events bring out the best in people and unfortunately the worst as well. Absolutely. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.